Welcome to Reef Diary, day 130. One. Two. Three. Yeah. It's the night before my trip where I'll be gone for a full week and looking at the reef and looking at the top off container and everything's sparkling and clean and I know everything's doing really well. I feel very comfortable leaving town, even though I haven't actually done a vacation in two and a half years. I have a chalkboard in the kitchen and I constantly jot down whatever it is I need to remember to do before I leave town so I don't make any mistakes and forget things. And for the last 48 hours, I have been knocking out one thing after another off the list to make sure everything is completed. And this isn't just reef stuff, it's also just everything you have to do with your home before you leave town. So I'm very happy that I got everything done and there's nothing left pending and I can just go off on vacation, enjoy myself for a week, do some scuba diving, enjoy some sun, and take a break from all the things I've been dealing with for so long. Now, as you can imagine, right now as you're looking at the reef, it actually looks a lot better to a human eyeball than it does to the iPhone because it always seems to do something with the blue and I didn't even bother putting the filter on because it was near the end of the cycle and I thought, ah, it's good enough. But the clarity is great in the water. The skimmer looks really good. Uh, water parameters are spot on. The calcium reactor is doing its job. I mean, literally, this is perfect for the tank sitter. For once, he doesn't have to sweat the small stuff. The anemone cube light had already turned off. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I'm, I think that's something to do with new moon versus full moon. And so it turns off a little bit earlier and even more and more early. But uh, I still fed the fish tonight. And I also spot checked the sump to make sure everything looks right. And everything does. I am completely ready and I'm very excited to get out of town. I went ahead and topped off the top off container a little bit more to squeeze one more day's worth of water into the container before I left town. I did dose Pradibio today as I had planned to. And the only thing I didn't get to do, I literally had zero time to do, was to plant the frags. So they are gonna stay on that tray for another week until I get back. And look at the sea bay, looks pretty decent. It seems to be continually recovering. And finally, I prepared the fish food for my tank sitter and I wanted to make it simple. And I didn't want to use little plastic cups. So I grabbed those fragging bags and I made daily portions. That's it, I hope you enjoyed today's diary and I'll see you again soon.